With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. With this question, the speed versus time graph for a particle is shown in the figure. The distance traveled by the particle during the time interval t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 seconds will be. Now here, if we look at the graph, we can see that the velocity is increasing at a constant rate. Since the velocity time graph is a straight line, that's why we can say that it is moving with a constant acceleration. The acceleration can be calculated by the slope of velocity time graph. So here, let's just calculate the slope. So this angle is theta. So the slope here is 10 theta, which is the value of acceleration. This is equal to, let's just say, this is our triangle OAB. 10 theta is equal to AB divided by OB. AB is 8 meter per second and OB is 5 second. So this comes out to be 8 divided by 5 meter per second square. This is our acceleration. Now here we can see that at time t is equal to 0, the velocity of particle is 0. Now we can apply the second equation of uniformly accelerated motion which is s is equal to ut plus half at square so here we can calculate the value of s which is distance here so the distance is equal to the initial velocity is zero so zero into time that the time interval for which we have to calculate is from t is equal to zero to t is equal to five seconds so this time interval would be 5 plus half into acceleration we just calculated. This is 8 divided by 5 meter per second square into time square 5 square. So this comes out to be 0 plus half into 8 into 5. So our distance comes out to be 20 meter. So this is our final answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.